thumbnail. And just feel like a dried up sponge because that's how I feel this morning I just feel like I'm not tired I just I think I'm just super dehydrated so I'm gonna chug some water I just don't feel plump like there's enough life inside of me and what did I do last night you ask absolutely nothing I watched Parks and Rec on my couch and went to bed at 9.30. So I don't really know why. Oh my god, I went to bed at 9.30 and I slept till 9.30. <laughs> slept 12 hours. Anyways, this is the life stage that I'm entering, I guess, where you just sleep. And I mean, for those of you who don't know, we're in super lockdown here in Quebec. Uh, we have a curfew at 8 p.m. So to all my American viewers, I'm so jealous of you guys that are getting vaccinated and moving on with your life because I'm not. I am about to take Maggie for a walk with her boyfriend, Reggie, a little beagle who lives nearby. It's my friend Jackie's dog. So I'm going to just take, these are my pajamas. I'm going to take my pajamas off, put on a quick outfit, and we're going to go walk these dogs and then we'll start the vlog. Also, what's this you ask? <laughs> I brought Maggie into my bed this morning and she scratched my face, so. Are you a face scratcher? You wanna go see, <laughs> we go, oh God, oh God. The thing is, is it's been pouring rain the last two days here in Montreal. And so I haven't been able to take Maggie for as long of walks as she needs. Um, I took her like each day on one long walk, came back covered in mud. So it's not like I can do that multiple times a day. Call me a bad dog parent. That's the way it is. I'm just being real. So she has so much pent up energy from the last two days. She has been honestly driving me crazy. Like her biting got so much better. Her mood and just like her her what do you call it? Her behavior got so much better. And then the last two days with all of the rain just so anyways i know that the secret to making her you know behave is to give her enough exercise which is fine except when it's pouring rain i need to think of creative ways to exercise her indoors i guess i could have used the halls of my building but anyways it's not raining today so jackie and i are gonna go on that really long walk with our little kiddos Oh, mom life. So when I come back, we are going to start this vlog for real. Hopefully I feel like a little bit more hydrated and let's do this. I saw you from across the room. When our eyes met, I never knew. You're gonna see Reggie? I could feel this yeah. way. Maggie, can you sit? Oh, good job. Can you give a paw? Don't even know your Maggie, name. Paw? <laughs> okay, we're getting there. Good morning. Oh my god, we're mad. today but it's a beautiful sunny day and that was just such an awesome way to start the weekend I'm so excited because I got Camilla's birthday gift 
can't show you because I know she watches and I don't want to spoil what it is, but I got her a birthday gift. So I like can't wait for it to be her birthday so I can give it to her. Ooh. So as you can tell by the title of this video, the theme of this weekend vlog is like spring cleaning, kind of a spring reset. And part of that is in this bag. And I just want to talk quickly about health. So I don't talk about like food, nutrition, health a lot on my channel. I used to like talk about fitness more when I was more into fitness, but the past year with COVID, I have totally fallen off the fitness train. I've totally fallen off the like health game. Um, I've honestly been really loving my body just the way it is. Like no matter what I eat, no matter what I work out or don't, um, I've been having really good relationship with my body and I'm really grateful for that. Um, just having it come from like a genuine place of acceptance and not like I love my body because I'm fit right now. Like I know I'm definitely not at my fittest right now. Um, I don't think I've like put on a ton of weight, but I definitely have put on a little bit of weight and I'm okay with it. Like I, I just have other priorities. We literally just got it and you don't have to go out right now. Like I was saying, um, I have other priorities right now and my health and fitness just haven't been one of them. However, the last couple of days, I have been feeling a bit more sluggish and a bit unhealthy from a nutrition standpoint. So not so much about, you know, working out and oh, I wanna get snatched and like I wanna have abs and whatever. I just honestly don't care about that right now but I have been eating a lot of candy, I've been eating a lot of sugar, and I don't think I've been eating enough vegetables. And my body, like I woke up this morning and I felt like dehydrated and yucky. Um, and I've been feeling like that for the past few weeks. And a few days ago, I just thought I had this like message from within my body and you know, I, my, my body was telling me, Zoe, you need to eat a little bit healthier now. I think it's something to do with spring and I'm less in like hibernation mode and more in like go, go, go mode. And I just feel like I need to put more fresh ingredients into my body. That's how I've been feeling. So I was watching a Maggie McDonald vlog um, the other day and she made a green juice just in her blender. And I was like, I'm gonna try that because I definitely feel like I'm missing like veggies. So I bought some stuff to make green juice. Um, I went to the health food store while we were on our walk today. I got two things of coconut water. This is gonna be the liquid um, for the juice. I'm essentially gonna copy what she did in her vlog. Um, I also got spirulina powder because I ran out of the stuff I had before. And the good stuff about this is it has iron in it. So it has 8% of your daily iron, which isn't a lot, but it's more than I was having before. And it's really high in vitamin A, vitamin B12, some other stuff that I don't know what it is. So anyways, I bought the spirulina powder and then from Lufa Farms, I ordered a bunch of greens. I ordered cucumber, I ordered basil, but that's not gonna be it for the juice. Anyways, I ordered a bunch of fresh local greens. So my goal starting this weekend and then just integrating it into my life um, as we go is going to be to have more greens, more salad, and if this all goes well, more green juice. So I haven't really eaten anything today. <laughs> that's a lie, I just had a banana muffin. See? There's nothing wrong with eating a banana muffin, but when it's all you eat, you're gonna start to feel like shit. I'm gonna start to feel like shit. So we're gonna make this green juice and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Also, really quick, I have, <laughs> I am wearing Curtis Connor merch. I've never purchased YouTuber merch because I've never, really liked it. I've never found YouTuber merch that I'm like, I need that. And this is like so nice. Like this looks like something that I would buy off of like Essence and pay a lot of money for. Um, it has like the cool details on the side, it says Casey. I love Curtis Connor so much. Do any of you guys watch his videos? Let me know. And it says, please be nice to me. And then on the back, it says, please be nice to me. It's the law. So let's make a green juice. I am so happy. I'm just waiting for Maggie to pass out from our walk, <laughs> she, she's gonna pass out soon. Um, okay, I'm just rambling, let's do this. So, for today's green juice, we have 
spinach. <laughs> this is local organic spinach because I think that I'm rich, apparently. Um, we have wheatgrass. So I ordered some wheatgrass. This is grown here. Oh my God, it's actually beautiful. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Thumbnail. Um, we have some wheatgrass that I am going to put in the blender. And then I have cucumber. So I'm gonna do these three ingredients with a little bit of coconut water and some spirulina powder. myself look how healthy this looks like <laughs> new smoothie new me um okay goodbye the only thing is it's really thick on top so when you have a juicer I know this because my dad is like a big juicer hi dad um when you have a juicer it separates the juice from the pulp but obviously in a blender it doesn't do that so I think all of the pulp is on top so I'm gonna have to just like take breaks and like eat the pulp yeah that's gross that's where the gross stuff is. But there's fiber in it, so it's good for you. So I'm gonna eat it anyway. My dad will be so proud of me. I'm gonna send him a picture of my juice, see what he says. I'm really proud of myself. My dad got his COVID vaccine yesterday, so that's very exciting. Like I was saying earlier in the video, we are way behind, um, one second. <laughs> We'll see what he says. Um, like I was saying, we are so behind the US um, in terms of vaccines. So right now, I think it's a 55 plus population that's getting vaccinated and there's like a waiting list to do it. But my dad got his vaccine yesterday, which is really like reassuring. And my step parents who live in Montreal, they got theirs last week too. So it definitely feels like hope is on the horizon. Um, I'm very excited to get my vaccine, even though it probably won't be for a few months, but it's just a relief to know that like, you know, my parents are safe now. Um, hopefully. And you know, like it, it just feels like things are moving, things are coming. So it's really reassuring to know that my parents are vaccinated. So I'm super grateful for that. And anyways, that's that on COVID. Okay, so I wanna keep this high energy momentum. The point of this video, this is how I'm standing. The point of this video is to do my spring cleaning. Now, I know I'm a bit early. It's still April when I'm filming this. It's like late April but I just feel ready. I feel in such a spring mood and I am ready to just turn, turn things around a little bit. So how I like to do my spring cleaning is first things first, I like to do my clothes. I wanna get rid of all of my winter clothes and I put them in my storage locker in the basement. Now, I have already gotten rid of my winter coats and gotten rid of my winter boots. <laughs> when I say gotten rid of, I mean put it in a box and put it downstairs. I've also taken away my space heaters and put them into my storage locker. These are my radiators. I don't need them anymore, obviously. And then, <laughs> hello ma'am. This is like a box of winter jackets and winter stuff. It's obviously not sealed super well, so I might just wait and try and find <laughs> a better box for it. I taped it shut, but it all came undone because all I have is like masking tape. And anyways, these are, this is staying for now, but this is like my winter mat that's usually in there. So I'm gonna take that down as well. And it's made such a mess on my floor. So I'm excited to get it out of here. So that was a big win that I did earlier this week. So now I am going to flip my closet. I'm going to take out all of my summer clothes, put them into my closet, take out my winter clothes and put them downstairs. And I like to use this opportunity to see if there's anything that I don't wear that I can put on Poshmark or on Facebook. So that's what we're gonna do to start. I do have a little bit of laundry that I wanna put away first so that everything is kind of in this section of my house. I'm gonna put everything onto a hanger, put everything in my closet, and then go through 
and pick stuff out one by one that either I don't wear or that is like super wintry. For example, like this sweater. Love this sweater, but it's a winter sweater. It's time to go into storage. So let me start by putting away my laundry and then we'll get to the swap. I, I love spring cleaning. Okay, stop talking Zoe. Let's get to work. Oh my God, I'm so, goodbye. <laughs> I have way too many clothes, way too many, it's overwhelming. Okay, so my rack is super bare now. These are like things I wear every day. This I know is going down, so I'm just gonna leave them there. And these are things that I want to sell, except for this, this is my egg sweater. Um, if anyone remembers from my what I spend in a week, I love it. So I keep it on the end, so that like the end part looks aesthetic. <laughs> So this is my clothing rack and I basically what I do is like everything that I wear the most or clothes that I want to make sure that I wear, I put them on my clothing rack so that there's like easy access to it. Um, and then this is my closet. Sorry for my shakiness, I, I'm the worst. So I'm going to show you guys quickly how I have it organized. Um, everything is hanging in here, tops and bottoms, except for like active wear and whatnot. And I pretty much have it color coordinated. And then inside of each color, it's organized from like tank tops, t-shirts to like sweaters. So basically an order of thickness and it goes like that all the way through. So now that everything is inside of my closet, I'm going to go through and pick out the things that are too wintry or that I just no longer wear anymore. That's where things are really tough because I'm really bad at getting rid of stuff. And I only tend to want to get rid of it if I think there's a chance that I can sell it. Um, so for example, like this, like I spent a lot of money on this. I just never wear it anymore because I don't go into the office and stuff. But it's like, I don't want to donate it because I spend so much money on it. I know that sounds bad, but when you are a shopaholic like me, you want to get a return on some of the stuff you bought. So anyways, I'm keeping it here in case there's a chance I can sell it. If it takes too long, then I will donate it. But that's another story. So let's go through my closet now and pull out everything that's winter or that I no longer wear. you guys the stuff that I pulled out um, I hope this is like fun or interesting I like watching people do closet swaps so first of all this is like pure winter um, it's like a flannel you know it's really winter vibes so I'm tired of looking at it it needs to go downstairs so that's an example um, another example is like this skirt this is so cute but it's so wintry so I'm gonna put it away for the summer then I have these two sweaters. These are an example of a really good transitional piece because if you live in Montreal, if you live in Canada, you know, you can't trust what month of the year it is. Even if it's June, you might need to whip out your sweater. So I do like to keep some transitional pieces out just in case, you know, it does get cold. Like it's predicting to get kind of cold next week. So I'm gonna keep these out, you know, so I don't freeze my butt off. Uh, what do we call this? Storage, keep. Da, 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 da. <laughs> storage boxes so in this box is all of my summer clothes and obviously summer clothes are a lot thinner and they take up less room than winter clothes so I only have one box but I do have an extra empty one here for the winter stuff so I'm going to fold it and put it away and I'm also gonna take out the spring stuff I guess I have to take out the spring stuff before putting away the winter stuff because I need the box. So let's, oopsies, weird angle, but okay. Let's see what kind of fun stuff is in here. I feel like most of my summer stuff I do keep out because it's like tank tops and stuff, but I have these cute shorts that I love to wear in the summer. I got them in Bali, so they have good memories. <gasps> my shoes, these are the shoes that I wore on my birthday last year. They're super uncomfortable. Um, I feel like I still need to break them in, but they are so cute. So those are coming out. Oh my God, these are my favorite shoes to wear in the summer, like these little heels from Nintendo. These are really, really comfy. Um, they're a bit beat up, but I love them. These, I love taking them out. I got this dress in Australia. So to start, I'm just gonna 
gonna take everything off the hangers and throw them into the bin. Then I'll fold it and make everything nice. So let's do it. done the clothing swap is done I've decided I'm not gonna sell the stuff on Poshmark don't bite don't do that um, I'm not gonna sell this stuff on Poshmark yet just because it's a bit too summery I don't think anyone's gonna buy it right now so I'm gonna put it upstairs where I have my pile of stuff that is like to be sold or to be donated this is my pile where clothes come to die it's so embarrassing the front half is stuff I want to sell and the back half is to be donated. The only reason it's still sitting here is one, because of COVID, the place I like to donate my clothes to a local woman's shelter and they stopped accepting donations because of COVID. And now I just don't have a ride, I don't have a car. And it's too heavy to carry by myself. So I'm waiting for like my dad to come or someone with a car to be able to take me. Um, and then also for them, of course, to start accepting donations again. Out of sight, out of mind, right? So I'm gonna put it up there and then let me show you guys my closet now. Da, 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 da. Okay, look how empty my rack is. I've decided not to put anything besides like these things that I wanna make sure that I wear. These are my like staples that I just leave out and then these are the things that I think could sell. Well, not this obviously, but these things are the things I could think could sell like in the more near future. And here's my closet. So it is pretty well organized, I think. Um, and all the summer stuff is in here. These are like all my dresses and skirts that I cannot wait to wear. These are all my sweatpants and then all of my tops are here and I keep all my sweaters in the back. And throwback to this section, which hasn't been touched in ages. This is all like my businessy clothes and my like more formal wear. So I think this is hilarious. Last spring, last May, oh my God, was it already then? Whatever some point last year I did a big closet clean out and I had my sister and Camilla helping me and I showed these cowboy boots these are like OG cowboy boots I've had them forever they're amazing quality genuine leather like they're just fantastic um, and Camilla was like you've never worn those cowboy boots are never coming back in style get rid of them and I was like I don't believe you Camille. I think cowboy boots are coming back in style and every time cowboy boots first of all are very much back in style this spring so many people are wearing cowboy boots so many fashion people that I follow um, are wearing cowboy boots and every time I see them I'm like Camille. and I guess I proved her wrong but she might be more right because she actually works in fashion and she works in footwear specifically she works in shoes and she's like, I don't think they're back, but I'm seeing everyone wearing them. So I am so excited because I'm going to be bringing these out of hiding and wearing my cowboy boots this spring. Sorry, Kamij, you're gonna have to be seen with me in my cowboy boots. Okay, so I'm starting to get tired, I'm not gonna lie, but I need to keep this momentum going. The next task on my list is to water my plants. I like to do it in the daytime so they can get some sun. Some people say that's bad because the water, like, gets hit by the sun and like burns it. I don't know, I'm gonna water my plants now. Hi, maybe, maybe, baby. Hi, Maggie, baby, maybe. <laughs> Maggie's drinking my drain juice. Ah! Don't, like, okay, healthy girl, do your thing. So the next thing I wanna do is what I call the piddly hiddlies, we love it. Um, it's basically all of the things that are just like scattered around my place, things that are not in the right spot, things that are just lying around. I wanna tidy all of them up and then I want to do a cleanup of my surfaces. So dust everything, um, wipe all of my surfaces down. 
I've decided today I'm not gonna clean my floors because it's really, really hard to clean my floors when Maggie is around. Any of you guys, if you have dogs, do you feel the same way? Like if I bring out the broom, she starts barking. If I bring out the Swiffer, she starts barking. If I bring out the vacuum, she goes insane. So I'd rather just wait until I have someone watching her um, like for the day or for the afternoon and then do my floors. Plus they just get dirty so quick, so I'm not too worried about it, but I definitely need to do a good wipe down of all of my surfaces. And honestly, I know that that's gonna make me feel so <laughs> refreshed, I'm really excited. I also need to do a big decluttering of my desk. So let's get into a big cleaning B-roll starting now. Now, right now, now, okay, now, let's go. Downstairs is starting to feel so good, so fresh. Now I need to worry about the upstairs. Maggie, I put her in her crate so that she'd like rest and stop following me around. She's not too happy, but that's fine. That's training. So for those of you who might be new, who don't know, I live in a loft and these are my stairs and my bedroom is upstairs. Now, because my bedroom is upstairs, I feel like it gets dustier way faster. Heat rises, does dust. I think dust might rise too. So I need to do some dusting upstairs. To do that, I'm gonna use a cloth and I'm gonna use a sweat. Maggie. Oh my God. Like the sound of it hurts my heart. Like it, I feel so bad leaving her in there. It's, it ignites, like it releases stress hormones in my body when she makes that sound. It really does, it's really, really difficult. Anyways, I'm gonna go clean upstairs. The other thing that gets super dusty is the actual stairs themselves. So I'm gonna wipe all my stuff, what? I'm gonna wipe my way upstairs and then I'm going to dust everything up there and then Swiffer up there. That's the plan, let's do it. At this gorgeous sun oh my goodness it's about 3 p.m. when the Sun <laughs> look at me when the Sun comes into my apartment like this it literally just does something to my soul this is I think my favorite thing about my apartment is how much Sun it gets it just oh it makes me so happy the way it reflects off of my plants and just comes into the living room I just feel so grateful to live here and to be able to sit on the couch and like sit in the sunlight is so amazing i like all i can feel is like immense gratitude oh my god it's coming in stronger i love it i love it so much not to mention that my house is clean well mostly clean we're almost done but i am taking a quick lunch break i made an avo toast with an egg <laughs> i made an avo toast with an egg so back to what i was saying earlier about health i just realized like 
I used to make avocado toast almost every day and it made me feel so satisfied and I feel like it curved a lot of my sugar cravings. And without even realizing it, I completely stopped eating avocado toast because I stopped buying groceries basically um, and I stopped buying avocados. And I just realized as I was making this, I was like, Zoe, you love this. It makes you feel amazing. Like, why did I stop, you know? Anyways, um, no need to fuss about why I stopped. Just happy to be back on it and let's continue. The momentum is the mentality I'm trying to have. Um, I'm also <laughs> drinking this canned kombucha. Let's do a live taste test. I ordered these on Good Food because um, they do have like some grocery items now. And honestly, the can just looked so cute. This is bittersweet grapefruit kombucha and it's carbonated. So let's see if it's any good. Oh my God, it's delicious. I love grapefruit. Fun fact about me, I adore grapefruit. Wow, I'm in heaven right now. Happy Saturday. I was just thinking how nice it is to have a Saturday where you're just doing things that make you feel amazing, like going for a walk, cleaning. And while, after I finished cleaning, I took Maggie for a quick little walk. And I realized that for the past two hours while I've been cleaning, I haven't really been thinking about anything. Like I haven't been running through scenarios in my mind. I haven't, I just, I kind of just was focused on cleaning and I was listening to the music and I realized that that's a really healthy state to be in and that's really good. And it's really hard for me to get into those states where I'm not running my mind a million miles an hour. Um, so that was amazing to just be in that for the past kind of two hours, not fussing, not worrying, just really being present and enjoying the moment. And it was awesome. So this is my bathroom. Now, I feel like we all have these areas in our house that we hate to clean. Some people hate doing the dishes. Some people, I don't know. I mostly know that people hate doing the dishes. I hate cleaning the bathroom. I love having a clean bathroom. I mean, who doesn't? but I absolutely hate cleaning it. I hate cleaning the toilet, I hate cleaning the sink, I hate cleaning the bathtub, and I hate cleaning the floor. I just feel like you clean it, and then the next day it's dirty again, so I just feel like it's so hard to stay on top of, and I hate it. Anyways, today, to wrap up the spring cleaning, that side of the house is amazing, it's perfect. This side of the house needs work. So we're gonna do it, I'm going to clean it, I'm gonna spare you guys the before, we're gonna clean my bathroom. The weapons of choice are spray and wash for the bathtub, Comet for the sink and the top of the toilet, <laughs> Windex for the mirrors, and I also like to use Windex inside the toilet. I don't know, it works. Sunday, I am putting my socks on because this oh, this morning I want to do before I do anything else stop before I do anything else I want to do a spin class so if you didn't see the vlog um, where I showed my spin bike for the first time I got a stationary bike a like spinning class caliber bike from b-cycle um, i'm just renting it so i don't have to like commit to 
buying it, which is like thousands of dollars. Um, so I got a good deal on renting it and it also comes with an at-home platform where you can do the classes. And I said it in that video, but it is so, so good. I didn't think the classes at home would be as good as they are. You sweat, you really feel like you're in the class. They did such a good job with the platform. So I'm so happy that I have this bike now. So I just wanted to talk about it quickly in case any of you guys have a stationary bike or are from Montreal and want to rent a bike. Um, it's a really good deal from B-Cycle. They also have bar classes, which are kind of like a Pilates class. They're so, so amazing. And you can do that from anywhere in the world. So if you're looking for a new workout to try, I really recommend you try B-Cycle. It's a local Montreal studio, so, you know, I love to support them. I used to work there, so I have, you know, a strong attachment to them. But if you guys are curious, I will link it down below. Um, I'll probably put some overlay on the screen of what the classes look like so you guys can see. But I need to choose my class for this morning. And the thing I love, but it's, it's, it's a love-hate kind of thing, because... I used to just go to the studio and whatever time was convenient, I would take you know that instructor, that class um, at that time. But now that it's from home and it's on demand, there's like too much choice between instructors. Like I literally love them all. Um, themes, times, so whether you wanna do 30 minutes or 45 minutes, there's, there's just too much choice and it's hard to pick until we go for our walk later. So anyways, I'm trying to pick a class and I am so out of shape, you guys, that the 45 minute classes are too hard. It's too long for me. So I've only been doing 30 minutes, which I think is perfect. And I just don't know what to pick. Okay, fine. Just for Jackie, we're gonna do a 45 minute class. We're gonna do house versus hip hop. Let's, <laughs> what was that? Let's do this. I made avocado toast with a ton of basil on top because I got it fresh from Lufa Farms and it's gonna go bad with an egg and then I put just put crushed chili flakes and some salt and I made myself a chai tea. Okay, so it's only 10.30 a.m. I'm so happy because I've already done my spin class. I've like showered, gotten ready for the day and that feels so good. Plus the fact that my house is clean means I just, I feel like I'm gonna start next week on such a good foot and that just feels so amazing. So I'm feeling super grateful for that. So thanks for coming along on this vlog with me, but we're not done yet. Today, I'm going to be going to the park with my friends. We like to hang out and do like picnics in the park because it's pretty much the only way we can hang out. But honestly, it's really, really fun. Um, and I, you know, I think we all said this last summer, but I'm grateful for COVID. I was, I was scratching. I wasn't picking my nose. Um, like I am grateful for COVID for showing us how we can have fun with our friends in like more simple ways rather than like going out and like shopping or like, you know what I mean? Just more simple, wholesome ways to hang out with friends. So that's super fun. Even though I'm jealous of everyone clubbing in Miami right now, I'm going to enjoy this evening or this afternoon uh, with my friends. I'm super distracted because to be honest, Maggie's been stressing me out a lot this morning. That's like the only negative thing going on right now. Everything else in life is so perfect today, but Maggie is stressing me out a little bit. So I'm excited to be able to leave the house because I know that's just why she's acting up. She needs exercise, but I'm like, mama's got to shower. Mama's got to like do her stuff, you know? So I did want to talk quickly about the new addition to my shower routine. So I talked about this on Instagram and I got a few DMs being like, oh my God, cool. So I thought I'd mention it here. Um, the Briogeo scalp scrub that I showed is so amazing and it has absolutely fixed my flaky scalp. So I never had a flaky scalp up until this winter. I thought it was dandruff, but my hairdresser told me it's not dandruff, it's just a dry scalp. Anyways, I never had that. And I think it might be from doing the dye on my hair because I only had, the dryness like right here 
not further back, <laughs> super weird. Anyways, um, I started using that Briogeo stuff and instantly it fixed my scalp. It also smells really good. So it's a scalp exfoliator, which even if you don't have a flaky scalp, I think is really good, like scalp care in general. You guys know I'm super into that. So yeah, I definitely recommend checking it out. I thought I would just mention it quickly here. It has my seal of approval. It has my cheap bitch Sephora especially for Sephora seal of approval. Okay, you guys, I'm going to enjoy my breakfast, watch some vlogs, and let's cut to my outfit because going out to the park is the only time I get to dress up. So I don't know what I'm gonna wear. Let's go find out. So I am just gathering up all my stuff to go. This, <laughs> it looks dirty, but the dirt's on the outside. This is like a portable water bottle from Maggie and I'm bringing some little treats for her in case she gets hungry. I'm bringing my own water bottle. I started pimping out my hydro flask with stickers. <laughs> this one is from Ellen Jane. This one is Shifted Digital, my management company. Ooh, and then this is Florence Cafe that I was at yesterday. So it's all like small businesses, which I think is fun. Obviously we have a mask. This is hand sanitizer. And then I need to choose which sunglasses I'm bringing. And I'm also bringing a blanket because it is cold outside. Okay, so this is my outfit. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. I wore an outfit like this about a year ago and I have a picture in it. See if I can find it. And I was like, oh, I forgot about that outfit. I'm gonna like redo it. But this time I put a turtleneck underneath to make it a little more Gen Z. Look at, Maggie's like just biting my boot. Like, can you not? Okay, so <laughs> I'm wearing this like Sherpa coat. We're just gonna have to ignore that. It's not going anywhere. I'm wearing this Sherpa coat because like I said, it's cold outside and because we're just gonna be sitting down in the park, I wanna be able to stay warm. This is like a Harley Davidson <laughs> shirt. I stole it from, guys, who remembers my Australia boyfriend? I stole it from him. Hi, Anthony. <laughs> There's no way he's watching. I can't believe I just did that. Okay, it has like flames on the sleeve. Anyways, yeah, it was his. I used to borrow it all the time and I accidentally came back to Canada with it. What you gonna do? Um, anyways, I really like it. I'm wearing just Lululemon leggings and then these boots are from Aldo. They're like the fake kind of Prada chunky style. So that's that, I like it. I do feel cute. Um, I just wish I could be a little more springy and I did my makeup, I have SPF on, feeling good. So I need to choose which sunglasses I am going to wear. Okay, you guys, this is my big outing. So you gotta help me. So we have these ones. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be these ones. I love it, I love it so much. Um, and the other option was my Ray-Bans. Let me just try. But these sunglasses, first of all, they're from Amazon. They make me feel so trendy. Like, I love it. I'm sure these look good too, though. Yeah, it's just, a, it's a different look. I'm, I'm gonna go for these. I'll show you guys the whole outfit. Ta-da! Yeah, I, I really, really like it. Like I said, I just wish it was a bit more summery or springy because it's very winter vibes but oh my goodness so i am just waiting for the green light from michelle <laughs> <laughs> i literally like we've gotten to the point where she was pretty much only bringing joy and now she's bringing stress again stop bringing stress maggie anyways i'm pretty sure this is normal <laughs> so it's fine um i just hope michelle tells me to leave soon because she's going crazy, therefore I'm going crazy. Anyways, overall, it's a really good Sunday. I'm editing a vlog right now um, that will be up soon. I don't know, I just feel really productive and on top of my shit and that feels amazing. And I know that like, I'm already excited to, for it to be tomorrow, which is Monday, so that I can be like, damn Zoe, you really did a good job this weekend. You love. All right, let's go to the park. Yeah. Okay, this is a pistachio latte. It cost me $8. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's good, but yeah, $8. And Michelle asked to be in. Uh -huh. 